Hello guys, this is gonna be my first episode about how to make money in Revelation Online or to be exact, how to farm Imperial Coins. This time I'm gonna talk about Fish Party Quest or uh, peculiar uh, activities that require peculiar tickets. First of all, let me show you what I'm talking about. This is a peculiar ticket, which allow you to participate in four types of activities. To find those activities, press the filter here and look at these little icons called Curious Events. As you can see, there are four icons, so therefore there are four events, four types of them. I won't go into detail about three other events, because this one is the most profitable, and all other events don't come even close to this one, so you can just forget about them. Well, you can do if you are interested in this stuff, but this video is about making money. Fish party event available only at the day. Here, as you can see, I am clicking right here at the top of your... You can see where day and night ends and begin. Right now, it's middle of the day and we will. this quest is available to us. Also, keep in mind that this quest is available only for characters level 40 and above. So, if you are low, lower than this, you won't be able to participate. Also to participate in this quest you need two pecul peculiar tickets. Not one but two. For each round you will go. Okay, let's take this quest. Uh -huh. Now he will show us stupid mo movie which we will skip right away. Okay. Uh, the funny part here is you may guess that I am doing this with five characters, basically with four of my alts. I know this stupid question will arise in comments below, like how can you load multiple clients? I answered this question about 50 times already. I have multiple PCs, okay? I have about two, 10 PCs at home, so loading multiple characters isn't in an issue for me. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, this one lagging. Okay, let's fly, guys. Aye, and this one is still on his mount. Wow, it's lagging so badly. Come on! Shit. Okay, here we go. Uh, we need to fly to one of these spots, as you can see, fishing spots. There are, uh, I think, four of them. There is one right there. Let's go. Basically, it's I don't I know you mo maybe already did this event, and I actually did video about this event already. It's pretty easy to do. There isn't anything in particular difficult about it. So you go to your fishing spot, and let's descend. So we dive in, and as you can see, there is NPC with which we finish quest and take new one. He gives us this little knife so we can get some fish. Now, one of the persons from your party goes at this point, as you can see, you have a little mark on your minimap uh, where you can find some fish that you need to lure at the spot where you will get it. Yep. This is it. So we go to this fish called Thai Chaser Fish and enchant it. And as you can see, we get the message that it goes to our magical array. We, we swim behind it. And now we need a, a, at least three characters to be able to get this fish. You may ask me why, and I will show you. Uh, let me start. Okay, first we will lose some scales. After finishing it, I will get a debuff for exactly 45 seconds, with which I won't be able to do anything. So we will need our second character to start removing some dirt. As you can see, here is a little debuff, and here my second character doing his work. After that, the third character will have to eviscerate the fish and after that we will get to kill a water spirit I guess 
or soul of the fish that will, will ca came out and here it is escape aura we need to kill it and as you can see in this uh, window quest window we need to do this nine times under 30 minutes to finish this quest so at most this quest will take you uh, 30 minutes but if you are really good enough and your party is good enough you can do this much much faster I think I heard that people do this under seven minutes that's uh, the best result that I heard about seven six minutes so people do this about six seven times in one hour that the day is in this game day lasts for one hour It's the same as night and here we go with a second fish come on okay she became too afraid of me and this one didn't so basically I will now cut nine fishes and after that I will show you my reward and how much money I made in this one quest see you in a bit okay guys I just eviscerate my last nine fish as you can see it took me 20 minutes to finish this one only party leader can just f finish this quest all other players will receive appropriate reward as you can see not only did I get uh, two purses like this I also got 200 uh, reputation with this Valmari and 20 honor or currency of Valmari after this we just open our purses and see what we got okay nothing special nine curious beads like this ten like this and two bottle clues but I did this on four character or five characters let's see what other got uh, okay okay here what I got so far from five characters I got 12 curious beasts that I can trade I got myself 10 drift bottle clues and two maps treasure tier bit maps now I can I can sell maps but I can sell tier bits oh I mean curious bits as you can see they cost 1500 each and I got 12 of them so as uh, this is about 20k I can sell all these clues for at least 5500 uh, each so this is 85,000 uh, coins basically even if I don't do anything and at this point just sell what I've got I will get at least 100,000 coins but you have to uh, keep in mind that you spe I spent 10 peculiar tickets even though those peculiar tickets were bound so I had to spend them anyway you have to add them to your equation and as you can see each ticket cost at least 5,000 so this is basically I spent 50,000 for this quest and I got 100 but we need to s open all our ma maps okay and we get five maps let's see how ma much I will get from each of them or from each map and if I will get more or less okay first map yield me 10 tier bits also keep in mind that I had five maps it's actually pretty good result because I got two maps uh, without using three bottle clues and let's see how much tier bits cost okay they cost only one and a half thousand this isn't really much actually because one map cost three bottles and even if this is 15,000 three bottles costs at least 24 so that was a waste but you have to keep in mind that uh, two maps got I got for free so eh, well let's see what we got on the next one okay second map yield us 15 curious bits that's much better great let's go next let's go with our third map and third map gave us another 15 curious bits okay that's fine let's go first one first map healed us only 11 tier bits well let's go with our final map maybe we're gonna get lucky on this one but I wouldn't count on it 
And last map is yet another 15 curious bits. So, what we got? We got uh, 45 curious bits and 21 tier bit. That's that's actually pretty bad, guys. I mean, it's 67 south and plus. Okay, it's 100 thousand, right? Well, we increased our yield, I guess, to about uh, 120 thousand coins. So you can say we got about 70 thousand coins in half an hour. That's our profit, if we consider that we bought ourselves tickets from auction, actually. But if you had tickets on you from the start, then this is pure profit. And you can do this any day, every day. So, on one hand, this way of farming is inferior to the second way I show you uh, with uh, merit points. But that way is only once a week. I mean, not once, three times a week you can do this that quest. And this way you can do every day how many times you want just wait for appropriate time i mean daytime and do this quest and you will farm this much money as you can see i showed you exactly how much i got how long it took and what you need for it of course without so many alts as i had it wouldn't be much guys but if you have a good party you can do at least four runs in an hour at least so it will be actually the same amount on one character though you will need only to do this five times so this is it guys i hope this will be helpful to you subscribe to my channel and see you later